Hi there, welcome to the table. A uh, couple of errata I want to, you know, get out there so anybody who's watching my playthrough will uh, know and understand um, what I'm referring to. Uh, the There was two things that I, I misunderstood. The first one is, is whenever you pick your house, there are these preferred focus symbols on the right. I explained that it meant that you can play that card over and over again. That was my understanding from reading the rules, but that is not correct. Um, what that's referring to is, because I, I actually I don't think I ever used that rule uh, as I explained it, right here. So when you have like your temptation card and you do this exploit action, it lets you take an action on another card. Well, that other card that it lets you do is based on your house. So that action is going to be on this one of these focus trees that are here. So if you're this particular race, the Cradmore, then if you play the Temptation card, that's letting you do an action that's on this card, whatever that card happens to be. I don't remember off the top of my head all these symbologies. Um, that would be Conquest. So you could play the Temptation card, and this says you get to play one free action on another card that you have focus. That uh, if you were playing the Cradmore race, that would be you get to do one of these three actions over here. All right, so that was rule number one. And then rule number two was just a, a misunderstanding on my part um, from watching the, the playthrough videos. Um, but basically, all it's saying is uh, every sector, so it doesn't matter what the type of sector, every sector is allowed to have two stands. So you can have uh, what I misunderstood is I thought you could only have um, uh, one of each type. So I think I was saying you can't have two Corvettes, but you can. You can have two stands of troops. Um, your issue is, is if you have a sentry and then you also have carriers, like this is not allowed. At some point you would have to, um, uh, you're going to have to lose one of these. Um, or if you had this situation, you can consolidate these, right? because maybe this doesn't have all three cubes on it. Um, but the point is, is you're only allowed to have two stands worth of, of stuff on your, um, on your tiles. And, um, and then eventually, like here in the rifts, uh, the Voidborn are allowed to have three stands. That's what that symbol there means. That allows them to have three stands, but only on this tile. Um, so for you, you're, only allowed, you're allowed to have two. And... Um, uh, anyways, that was another rule I got wrong. Again, I very rarely in my playthrough uh, get into that situation, but I think I, um, because of my misunderstanding, I prevented myself from recruiting more uh, ships when I could have. So anyways, um, that's all I got for now, and uh, it's a great playthrough, completely done. And as you can see, I'm actually playing around with Tabletop Simulator. So I'm getting gearing up to do another playthrough. So uh, thanks for watching, um, and as always, stay awesome.